Hi everyone, this is Nataraj. I am back with other video. In this video, I am going to talk about that mapping the Cloud Run service to custom domain using Terraform. When you deploy the Cloud Run service, we provided with the default domain to access it in generally. In this video, you can use that your own custom domain or subdomain to instead of the default one. Steps to enable the Cloud Run service to the domain. The first one, the Cloud Run service page, you can click the manage custom domain. In the domain mapping page, you have to click the add on mapping. The step three, verify your domain name in the webmaster central. This is one of the important known. You have to must to register your domain into that portal. The fourth one, to specify a domain or subdomain to map into the service. The fifth one, you can copy the DNS record to your domain registers. So in this video, I will be show with that manual as well as Terraform also. The first one I am going to perform with the manual. I am moving to that GCP console page. Right now we are at the GCP console. I am going to that navigation menu. You can scroll down, Cloud Run. My one of the video I show that how to create the Cloud Run from the Terraform. If you are not watching that video, could you please watch it out so that you will come to know how I am creating the Cloud Run from the service through Terraform. Then I am going to click the managed custom domain. You can click the add mapping. Just you can select that your cloud run service. Then you can choose with the cloud run domain mapping. So in my case, I uh, already registered the domain. So if you have a new domain, just you can click the verify the new domain here. Just you can base domain URL you have to provide. In my case, I am going with the cloud root 7xyz Here I am providing with the any name in the subdomain. I provide with the test. Then I am going with that continue. You have to copy that uh, this DNS name. Just to copy. This time I am typing that cloud DNS here itself. choose the cloud DNS then you go to the domain name then you can click the add standard choose the name of that subdomain test then you can choose with the C name you can provide the DNS name whichever you copied earlier and create it one of the important that you have to register your domain in that web central so okay, I already opened this URL. Here you have to type with your subdomain test dot cloud root root seven dot x y z. Click it continue. He's checking my ver verification. Yeah, the validation is completed. Then I am going to the property. So the main important page is that you can go, go to the settings. You can see I think the ownership verifi verifications and the user permissions. Just I elaborate my user permissions. I have the owner privilege. I am going back to my uh, GCB console. Then you can go back to that cloud run service. The domain mapping is took more than 27 minutes to complete that propagations. Now I am going to click that domain name. Yeah, so now I can able to assess my page uh, along with uh, that uh, custom domain. The similar operation we can perform in the Terraform. I am moving to that Visual Studio code. So we are at the Visual Studio code. The entire source code is available in my repository. In my previous one of the video I talk about that, that Terraform very deeply. If you are not watching that video, could you please watch it out. So in this video only I added that dns.tf file but remaining tf file will be same I click the file now we can see the things one by one the first resource is the data block the google dns manager stone the data blocks to query the information about the your existing dns name my case my cloud root 7 domain zone next resource is that google dns record set to create the subdomain and pointed with that cname record with a 86,400 
and manage zone we are pointing with the DNS referent queries which we are using the data block earlier next one is that RR data here we are setting that GHS Google hosted.com it is common for all the subdomain next is the life cycle to prevent the test dot equal to false suppose you want to delete this record here we are make it to allow to delete if you are making the true you won't uh, delete this record itself next resource is the time sleep this resource managing the delay between that creation and duration for the future resource my case 60 seconds I make it the pause next resource is that google cloud run domain mapping we can see the parameter one by one the naming the naming is my subdomain of my domain next one is the metadata metadata is acting as that key value pair next one is the forcefully to override that equal to true it will always override then routing the name the routing the name is i am pointed with my cloud run service whichever i created earlier depend on is basically to depend on other resource once created the other resource then only you can going to create this resource we will move into the terminal to execution these operations going to click the three dot terminal new terminal so already executing that my terraform init and the plan command and directly going to apply with the terraform apply command So now we're going to add the three resource. So I'm just I'm providing that as is input. Now the Terraform operation successfully completed. Suppose if you are getting the Terraform mapping verification issue using the Terraform, as you see the error message below, the Terraform is complaining that the domain name is not verified. The solution is you have to go to that webmaster central and click your domain name then you can add your owner button of that uh, the terraform service account email id address and save it again you back to your, your terraform console executing the terraform apply command this time will be your problem will be resolved so this is one of the case i'm facing this problem so now we are at the gcp console just i refresh the page yeah, you can see here the cloud run the newly created from the terraform is right now showing on it takes some time to propagate the domain propagation is completed just i going to click my domain name yes now i can able to assess my application now i'm going back to that uh, cloud run service you can see that added by earlier i performing with manual operation that time my name email id came i'm going to perform with the terraform it it came with the Terraform service account name. So I hope this video will be useful to everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.